Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to DJ World 2019. Thank you so much for being here. We are now moving on to Zoro Exodia, as people have been calling it, um, because you get the combo at some point and then you just um, take over the game from there. So what's the infamous combo that people are even clamoring to get these cards banned? It's red card where your opponent shovels his or her hand into his or her deck and draws four cards, or Marshadows let loose, which gets the same effect, plus any stadium card, in this case Skyfield, plus Delinquent, where you discard any stadium card in play, and if you do, your opponent discards three, three cards from his or her hand, effectively bringing them, bringing them down to one card. And finally, you can use Peeking Red card, where your opponent reveals their hand, and then you get to choose if you want them to keep it or for them to shuffle it. So if they kept a good card after the delinquent, you shuffle it and then they have a pretty low chance of recovering from that. And if you, um, if you, if they have a bad card, if they have a tetra card, then you just leave it there and you are good to go. Now, from my testing, I haven't been able to like really consistently pull up the combo on turn one. I've been able to pull it off like on turn two and take a big knockout with Zorg. And then if you pull it off on turn two, um, especially going first, it's very detrimental and very hard for opponents to recover from that. So if you don't get it on turn one, it's fine. Getting it on turn two is still pretty good. And now we have the main players, Zorg GX 210 HP, ability trade, which gives increases the chance of pulling off the combo on turn two. You discard a card and you draw two. I and mean, then Righteous Beating deals 20 damage for each of your Pokemon in play. So you get to deal up to 120 damage if no Skyfield, and up to 180 damage or 210 if there is a Skyfield in play. Now we have 4 Shame in the X so that we have that Astro Power in order to find the combo pieces. We also have the 1 1 uh, Ditto and Alolan Mog in order to shut off opposing Pseudowoodos. We have a Pseudowoodo of our own, which is pretty much a stable and expanded. And then we have the Marsh Shadow that I mentioned, and Execute to reuse for trade. A single lele for consistency and a seismito to try and slow down the game. Um, next up we have double delinquent, a single loose, I mean a single Guzma, a single Cynthia, and a single Colbris. So no um, no Bridget. We actually have level balls and um, Pokemon Education and Ultrals to set up. We also have Trainer's Mail, we have double stretcher, we have a single compressor, so there's a lot of things going on with this list that are very different from the usual Zorak list. This is an exact uh, copy of the list that got top 4 at the latest regional, and I am personally not a fan of the list, of how it plays out. Um, I think you would need more um, level balls, I think you need like, I think the loose, I mean, is way too, um, way too much. But who am I to question the list, right? Let's jump into a ladder and see if we can get the turn one or turn two delinquent off in order to um, really punish opponents and have them dead draw at different points of the game. Um, no full art delinquent, John F, because I only have one and one and one looked very ugly. Um, they only gave me one for whatever reason. So... That's why I only have um, the two regular ones here. And hola manchas, <laughs> happy new years to you two as well. Thank you so much. Um, I would like to go first, thank you. Do you have a gift of Exodia instead of Zorg? <laughs> no, not quite. Okay, so th see, like this is what I'm talking about. This is a really awful hand in terms of producing the turn one delinquent right right against tbci right why are they not giving me all the cards okay we seem to be up against trampa garb so trampa garb probably does really well against this sort of deck if it manages to stabilize if it doesn't stabilize then obviously you just run them over but if they do stabilize it could get a bit dicey it could get a bit dicey oh I, yeah i am against Iver Zerk. <laughs> I am up against I Berserk, so good luck to you, my friend. Okay, that versus Seeker actually. Oh wow! Oh no, never mind. Well, I almost have it. 
because I could compress her, the delinquent, and then Rose Seeker for it, and I could compress her, the Marshadow. I can't get back a red card, though. And delinquent to two doesn't feel as great, I would say. Huh, interesting. I mean, I could just grab Shaman, right? Because if off of Shaman, like I'll stretch her back Shaman and then set up, if off of Shaman, I can get a red card or a computer search, then I can pull off the combo. So I'm gonna get rid of those three. <laughs> Hello, Manchas, thank you so much for all the M&Ms. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. 28 M&Ms. That's almost like a full bag. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, no, I didn't mean to play that. Oh, jeez. I meant to play the stretcher. I meant to play the stretcher. Okay. I mean, I might still do it, actually. Okay, let's do that. And then let's shame in. And wow, Henry, thank you so much for the five orange M&Ms. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so do I just delinquent then? Uh, I'm not completely sold it's the right play, but sure. I mean, turn one delinquent is still decent, right? At worst, it gets rid of some resources, uh, which is a shrine, a rainbow, and a giratina. So this is boss garb shrine. I hadn't even realized. This is boss garb shrine. It's not... Um, Trampa Garb, as I thought. And thank you so much, Henry, for the bits. Very, very kind of you. Okay, so we get End. So the Delinquent didn't really do much against my opponent. And the thing is, I can't continually use... Henry, thank you so much for the extra 22 M&Ms. Very, very kind of you. You really want to cover up that Zorark, don't you? Thank you so much. Um, okay, so the bad thing is you top deck the Anti Berserk. Okay, there we go. That works. Um, let's promote the Ditto. Oh, I should be using the Paralyzing Gates or was. That's a small mistake. It's just I don't own any in real life. Well, I own one, I guess. Um, okay, so I'm gonna level ball. I think I'm gonna level ball for the Marshadow. Yeah, let's level for Marshadow. Let's full troll for Zork. And now, okay, so I was saying, these guys have 130 HP, so you can pull off the combo or the lock. However, um, if and when you do, um, unless you had a Skyfield the previous turn, it's not, um, it's not really going to stick. Uh, I mean, I can lay it for the other delinquent. So let's propagation. And yeah, let's do this. I'll get another Zork. So I'm really trying hard to get the lock, right? One, two, three, four, four, five, six. Okay, six items so far. Thank you so much for the M&Ms, guys. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Okay, so trade. Um, ELX is, do I plan to attend Hartford Regionals? I don't think so. Because it's expanded, right? And when is it? In March or in April? It honestly depends on... Um, okay, the Lusamine is actually nice here. It all depends on how I'm doing championship points wise. Yeah. <laughs> all these M&Ms are making you hungry, bird boy. I was actually thinking of doing, like, if we got to our January sub goal um, for this month, like, to do a, a video. Henry, thank you so much for the extra M&Ms. To do an actual, like, video recording of me um, eating, like, a certain amount of, a crazy amount of M&Ms as part of, like, a challenge or something. Okay. So, well, I guess Orang Guru makes this null though. So I'm just gonna take the opportunity to get a knockout, I think. 
I'm gonna lose some in for these two. And then I'm gonna communication the mock away. Let's grab pseudo so that he doesn't go crazy. No, not 10,000 MMs. <laughs> But so, I mean, I, what's a crazy number of M&Ms? Brisk boy, thank you so much for the two M&Ms. What's a crazy number of M&Ms? Like what's an actual crazy number that's, that's realistic, right? Like if I'm gonna fail it, if, I, if you say 10,000, like I can't purchase 10,000 M&Ms, right? <laughs> 500 M&Ms in one sitting. I'm pretty sure I could do it, but it definitely also sounds like a challenge. I don't know what five. I was thinking like 200 M&Ms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight item cards so far. Ugh, pseudo Wudo, man. And I already used up my Ditto. Okay, this is gonna be very, very dicey. 250, yeah, 250 seems like a doable challenge, right? Like if you wanna see me fail, oh, you know what? I could do, I will eat, at the end of the month, I will, I, re I will record myself eating the same amount of M&Ms as subscribers that I have for that month. If it's 10,000, I'll do 10,000, honestly. Um, okay, the Sudowuro is very annoying. I think I want to KO that. Right? KOing the Sudowuro is definitely the key, the key here. Activating Sledgehammer is really going to suck, but there's no way for me to play around that. How does that sound? I will record myself. I can combo, but because they have a rank guru, it's not really useful. Okay, I got the rock who's not perfect. Because they have a rank guru, like I combo them to one card and then they draw another two. So it's not that big a deal. Okay, wrench is beating this KO is pretty is a pretty big deal. What do you average in subs typically? Around 60 per month, more or less. I would be down for that. Like any number of M&Ms, no matter what the final number is, I would do it. If it's a thousand, I would do a thousand. Even if it makes me sick, <laughs> I would do it. I honestly would do it. Sledgehammer turn indeed. But no pseudo Wudo though, which is good. That means I can return KO. And if I can... Okay, he gets a rainbow. I got this guy, which is nice. Like for me to reliably pull the combo off, I'm gonna need to KO Oranguru at some point. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight item cards so far. So that's the ninth. And then I'll attach the choice, man. It literally doesn't matter. And I red card him, I guess. That's a tenth item card, though. Then Rainbow Choice Man gets him a knockout. So I'm gonna avoid that one, though. Only two rainbows left, but he could be playing Psychic. We don't know. Okay, so I do get the DCE. Now I need basics. I don't have basics, oh my. I haven't traded, though yeah, I have to do this. I haven't traded, right? No, I haven't traded. And then if he gets full stone, it happens anyways. Thank you so much for the bits, MLG. Yeah, I'm past the threshold. And pass the threshold. What I need is another Zorua. <laughs> That's what I really need. And or Zorg, which I did get. Awesome. 
So no sledgehammer for my opponent. I should trade, however. So yeah, this devolved. Thank you so much, MLG, for the bits. It's very kind of you. This devolved into... Into me having to use Ditto and not having Mock uh, means I can't stop where I grew. I passed the threshold, so I wanted another Zorua, but I don't have one. So maybe I should I should have rescued Straight Jerk first. Duh. Uh, it's fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> the cup is indeed full. You can barely see Zorak. Rainbow? Rainbow or Psychic is pretty much game. Shrine, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Diancy is fine, it's not a big deal. Psychic. Ugh. Psychic. And special charge. Yeah, I don't think we can win here. Our initial setup was just not very strong. 220 exactly. So maybe that last that last level ball. That last level ball. Okay. So then we're definitely evolving. My weapon now needs garb and energy. It needs trash launch and energy. And he has a few turns to get it. So Totally gonna. If I bench this Zorua, that's an easy picking for Puzzle. So I don't think I can bench a Zorua anymore. And Gamer Allo, thank you so much for the MM. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you so much, ML Unicorn. Very kind of you. And I promise you, we'll have standard soon, yeah? We'll have standard soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna bench the Shaman. That's enough for knockout on the guard, which is a real threat. And I'll take the KO. I don't need another trade. Weba needs either Beast plus Choice Bend or um, Rainbow plus Trash Challenge. And then my opponent says, you should have red carded me. I guess I could have peeking red carded. Yeah, I should have peeking red carded, I guess. So I assume he has the right cards in his hand. Oh, Weavile. Oh my, okay, fair enough. I should have used peeking red card indeed. I think I played this pretty badly. You always want to save the data for Mock. You never want to use it for Zorak. So that was mistake number one. And then because that way your combo becomes more effective. The decks just like, they get to a halt. But the, the Ranguru pressure, uh, not the Ranguru, sorry, the Buzzle pressure um, put me in this mindset of I have to rush to prevent that from happening. Um, I could have also avoided taking a knockout on the Sledgehammer turn to make sure that I had a better target. I'm not sure, GG I Berserk, GG. GG. Hopefully this one goes or works out better for us. And... I mean, Iverzerk, we didn't know what you were going to draw, right? Off of the red card. So it definitely would have given me a better chance, yes. It definitely would have given me a better chance. If I had used Peking red card and made you shuffle, would have given me a better chance. Oh, we're up against Wailerd, okay. This opponent always plays whales. Okay, so I have to red card delinquent him. I have to red card delinquent him and then just, boom, attack. And I need to set up Alola and Mock in order to um, 
in order to get rid of the tree. Right? Right. Um, Tartarius. What do I think about lightning decks next set? I think they're gonna be pretty good. I think Zekrom plus Pikachu tag team is gonna be pretty good. And then Zapdos from the new set is gonna be pretty good as well. And John F, what if, what if it was a big mix of regular M&M's, peanut, peanut butter and others? I'm definitely down for that. <laughs> I would definitely be down for that. I would definitely be down for that. Okay, so my opponent plays Tropical Beach. Um, no circuit tree. I don't have Ditto, so if my opponent sets up a circuit tree, I am dead. Is this matchup an auto loss? No, not by any means. MLG, thank you so much for the extra MMs. Very kind of you. Yeah, I need to mock, but I don't have Ditto, so that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> thank you so much for filling up the cup. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna train his mail. Ugh. I might even have to use my opponent's tropical beach. I think I'm gonna fail it. I don't wanna attach though. I'm just gonna tropical beach here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, MLG. Very kind of you. Um Zapdos, you think is going to be the only real good one? Because it isn't weak to fighting. Yeah, it's weak to lightning, right? Um, I think Zapdos is going to be pretty good, but I think uh, Pikachu with Zekrom is going to be okay as well. Okay, my opponent fails the handiwork. That's really nice. All right, that's really nice. Uh, Latias. We can't do anything to Latias either. Not without Mock. So I need to find the Ditto. I 100% need to find the Ditto. If I don't get the data of the price cards, I'm never going to win this game. And then... Picking red card doesn't help me. So I'm gonna Lele, I guess? Into Cynthia. I needed red card. If that was a red card, I would have red carded, delinquented, attached, shamed, and then worked my way from there. This is not looking good though. Because I priced my Ditto. If you price Ditto, you're in trouble. If you price Ditto, you are in trouble. Yeah, that's true, Bird Boy. That's true. Mock is definitely an issue um, for stall decks. I mean, do I counter the Tropical Beach? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna pass here. Not looking good though. Not looking good. Not looking good. Okay, Fiat Seeker. For handiwork. Double tails again. <laughs> Very sad for my opponent. Not too sad that I feel bad, but kind of sad. I think I'm gonna go for... Um, for what? I think I'm gonna go for more shadow here. Oh, I can Quaking Punch the the Latias. It's gonna take a while to KO, but I certainly can do that. I mean, yeah, let's wing it. And we'll let loose. I'm really banking on getting the combo here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna discard one of the delinquents, so I, if I get for a seeker, I'm good. And... A loose, I mean... Well, yeah, I don't have Lele. 
And I need to keep this, the seismic toad. So what else do I discard? Colrus? And then, I don't want to discard the DCE. But in order to maximize my chances, I think I should. I have special charge. Iberserk, yes, our match will indeed be on YouTube. Okay, so we have the delinquent, which is nice. So let's trade, see if we can get it naturally rather than using up the computer search. Okay, two more sky fields. So yeah, Iberserk, our match will be on YouTube and it will be on YouTube on Friday. Friday? No, not Friday, Saturday. Saturday morning, it will be on YouTube. Okay, so no, no, oh no, there's a first seeker, duh. What am I thinking? Okay, so delinquent, and then we hit, right? I'm still gonna play a Skyfield, because that way I can delinquent again next turn and then play a Skyfield to deal maximum damage. And the Alaskan hero, eight months in a row. Thank you so much for subscribing. Boom, go all the MMs. <laughs> that looked so cool. That actually looked very, very cool. Okay, so my opponent discarded Flirgrunt, Faba, and AZ. I feel like all those three, there's merit to giving all those three cards. So my opponent probably has some energy removal in his hand. Oh, and I said I would play this, right? So then, Let's go ahead and Riot Cheese Beating. I don't want to play any other Pokemon because then if this gets countered, I would just lose them. Hopefully the card my opponent kept was a Tropical Peach to draw again. Because I have Red Card and I have Computer Search and I have a Stadium. So I can do that again. He goes for Via Seeker. Into Faba. That's okay. That is A-OK -okay by me. Okay. So we're gonna get a knockout here, which is great. Let me plan this out. I'm going to trade. Well, we don't have knockout yet. Oh, I guess, never mind. We do have knockout because I don't have to delinquent this turn. Whatever my opponent's card is, it's not a very good one. I'd assume. And Henry, <laughs> time for a refill. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. Okay, this Zorua plus this DC is knockout, correct? 120, 140, yeah, that's knockout. Okay, so we need either Ditto. Please Ditto, please Ditto. Yes, Ditto, awesome. We got Ditto. So he probably promotes the item. The Robo Sub. You're testing for your League of Iberserk. Is that this weekend? Yeah, there's the item, which is fine. Which is fine. Okay, and then we see a pass. So, do I delinquent again this turn? That's a question. Definitely benching this friend. But do I delinquent or do I wait? It's clear that those two cards are not very good and they're not ultra ball. And he's already used up computer search. So I am going to propagate trade. Wales is so 2015, right? <laughs> I mean, it did, it got to the finals of our regionals the previous, um, the previous season. Okay. I think I just attack now. Yeah. Uh, sure. You think you would delinquent, but what could he be holding? Like he, he literally did nothing the previous turn. He drew past. So he doesn't have disruption. He's not gonna play Ultra for Lele. He doesn't have a tropical beach. 
He doesn't have Zuruki Tree yet. What could he be holding? Quaking Punch here? No. I don't think Quaking Punch is good. I think we just... Like, what cards could he be holding? Not lose, I mean, either. Maybe another Pokemon? Right, John? Like... I don't think they'll ever reprint Tropical Peach, but I think they should play a stadium with the same effect. Or they should put an alternate art. That way it's not legal in standard, but it's legal in expanded. Yeah, see, it's like my opponent is literally doing nothing. He's just draw passing. Okay, I'm gonna have communication for the mock. Oh, the mock is also prized. What? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I was so focused on the ditto that I completely forgot the mock was prized. Do I tell okay. What he's probably holding is some sort of healing, right? So I am going to delinquent here. So I shouldn't have finished the ditto. That was silly. It's fine. Yeah, AZ Max Potion and Counter Catcher. Good thing, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the Shaman? No, Shaman could even be useful. I think the Pseudo Wudo, because it's something that can easily get trapped. And then I think the Marshadow. And then I just attack, right? And then I just attack for one. Oh no, I should have played this. No, I should have played the Skyfield. Oh my gosh, you're joking. Acerola, man. Ah, top deck the Acerola. Oh my gosh. What a top deck. What a top deck. It's not GG. It's not GG. I have Seismic Toad. It's not GG. It's not GG, guys. Don't count me out yet. Do not count me out yet. Uh, yeah, I can click and punch exactly. So I'm gonna Skyfield. That was a sick top deck, though. Okay, definitely want a choice band to size me. Uh, was that bad? Is choice banding the seismitoad bad? Maybe. Okay, we know the card he has in his hand is Waylord. And we 3 hit KO the Ladias. I need to 3 hit KO though, for sure. He can't enhance hammer my DC, which is good. The issue is that's literally my last DC. So what did he top deck? Okay, bench is a Waylord. Maybe I should have delinquented him? Nah. Is that a, a healing card? Play delinquent again. I think I'm gonna have to be a secret for loose, I mean. For double delinquent. Ah, I should have played, okay. I should have played peeking red card. Ah, oh, perfect. You can keep that. Would you like your opponent to shuffle? No. Okay, just don't top the Acerola. Top the Tropical Beach if you want. Just don't top the Acerola. How would Choice Plan be bad? I mean, in terms of Seismito getting stuck in the active. Because afterwards, like, I can't Guzma into the Wailer, so how do I knock it out? That's what I mean. Ugh. Top deck Zorky Tree, are you kidding me? <laughs> Top deck Zorky Tree. Why? We're playing on hard mode. <laughs> okay, come on, Muck. Yes.
The card he has in his hand is Enhance Hammer. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, now I need to retreat this guy. Because I can't Guzma KO this, but that's fine. Because I have the DC here, right? I'm going to have to pay the cost of retreating. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Even if I click Mock, I have Double Stretcher. So I literally can't misplay here. Unless I trade Mock and the Double Stretchers. <laughs> Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Retreat. And there's a victory. Oof. That was intense. That was incredibly, incredibly intense. And that's the power of Red Card Delinquent. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but before Anaheim, um, I showcased. Um, or I did a video about talking about my top deck choices for the tournament and I showcased to Oracle Lola and Monk that had two red cards and delinquent. It didn't play any ends, right? It didn't play any ends. It actually played two red cards and delinquent and four skyfields because I realized how strong that is. Um, and combined with Zorg, it's generally so strong. So, so strong. It's like if, and, they, and if you can pull it off on turn one, it's just ridiculous, honestly. Um, but anyways, guys, that's gonna be all for Zoro Exodia. That was a very intense and very clutch uh, game to showcase. So I'm glad we got to showcase that. And with that, that will be the end of the stream. I really appreciate you guys um, hanging out with me today. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And I think that's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna prep something for for next stream. But like my goal for January is to stream a lot more. Yeah, be more consistent and. Hopefully, um, if you guys want to see me stuff myself up with a lot of M&Ms, I'm definitely down for that. Yeah, like think about it. If you guys are, if that would entice you to, if you'd like to see me eat like, I don't know, maybe 200 M&Ms in one go, I'd be very happy to eat as many M&Ms as we have subscribers for January. That could be like a, a fun challenge um, to do. <laughs> and I'm sure you guys would get a, a laugh out of it from from watching a video. I would probably do it live though, so that you guys knew I wasn't cheating. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Um, Remedy, is it worth it to buy theme decks or packs? Depends on your goal. Um, you wanna build a competitive deck.